<laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. It's like, fucking really wow. <laughs> so, what made you consider the literature club? Being held at gunpoint by Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Glock. <laughs> Get the fuck over here, Steel! <laughs> oh my God. I hate this. Hey, you should go follow my Twitch. It's in the description below. Go check out all my friends as well who showed up in this video. This is a video of an older vibe. I hope y'all enjoy. Hello. Hi, Smeeb. Hello, Smeeb. We are Hello. literally just getting everything readied up. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> this game is gonna make us go doki doki. Doki doki. Doki doki. Oh god. I tweeted, I tweeted it out on Twitter and everything. So hopefully we're gonna doki in the wrong literature club. Yes. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? <laughs> Jesus. Doki doki. Hello, Vincent. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Anyway, guys, we're playing uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Uh, this just came out today. I have not seen any spoilers. The most <coughs> I've seen from this game was actually earlier when me and Michael were actually taking a bit of a look into like yep. uh, the game. And it's actually very interesting. I'm going to show off the other part at the end of the stream uh, because I want to actually get into this game. Basically, uh, actually, I can quickly show it. So if you actually click exit DDLC, oh, this is like the little interface that comes up. So this is where you can access side stories, the files, and all that shit. It's already interesting enough because you go to the files and you can see like the basic stuff. But if you go into like internal, you have like zero, one, two, three, four, and backup, and you have notes. This is a scratch disk. Do not. Use it to store sensitive or permanent things. If you need access to the files from the encrypted file share, copy them to your disposal drive and plug it directly into the thin client. Do not copy them here. Rhea is working on setting up a proxy mail server so we can have proper remote communication without having to worry about the higher ups. Keep everything on offline until then. Holla. And then you have hey, yo. meeting notes. Uh, updated development timeline, new tasks, test cares for new genetic models, server time, optimization idea, automatic data collection, data migration to encrypt file share Monday, VM2 roadblock, RO on VM2, everyone else on VM1 for data collection, ideas for data search types, visual reader renders, audio data, VM environment changes, per persistent variable tampering, timestamps, part pairsing through patterns, no exclusive server time needed, meeting well, overtime, time. Deal, I guess, you know who he... went on too many tangents <laughs> again, I need to be more assertive about staying focused. Mm -hmm. And then test, file copy test, basically that kind of thing. And then you have like the system and all that. Mm -hmm. So this is really, this is genuinely very interesting. <laughs> But now, after going over all that, as you can tell, this game is going a lot deeper. Oh, hold on. I gotta keep following. <laughs> Smibs. Yeah. Wow, Smibbles. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I realized I wasn't followed. Wow. I'm um, sorry. It's okay, Smibbles. S-M-H! Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Game. Smibbles, I already, my character's bad. name's already Steel, so it's fine. <laughs> Who wants to be... Who wants to be Sayori? Who? I don't know if I have the capability of being <clears throat> Sayori. Fuck it, I'm throwing Smib under the bus. Go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. <laughs> yep, that's me. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw herself. That girl oh is Smibbles, my neighbor and good friend <laughs> spiritualist. Not Smibbles! Sayori. No, that girl is Sayori. My, that, that girl is Sayori, my good, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But started around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Siori catch up to me. <laughs> <laughs> catch him uh, with. I overslept again. You can tell also the models have improved. Mm-hmm. 
But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only Maybe. because I decided Always to stop good. and wait for you. Eh, you said that like you're thinking about ignoring me! That's mean, Steel! Bitch. Well, <laughs> 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 well, if people keep, if, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're like a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, if you, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to the school. As you draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Steel, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I've been looking either. Huh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> so he <laughs> likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. Wow, nerd. I was talking about how I'm worried about you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming an, a neat in a few years a because you're not used to the real world. A neat. A neat. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start the anime club. Anime. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom because it's easier to not draw these people. <laughs> no background characters. <laughs> yep. No extras. No. I thought I'd catch no. you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club! Sayori? Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh? <laughs> Meanie! Sayori is vice president of the literature club. I hate myself. <laughs> no, you're doing great, okay. Smith. This is anime. This is fantastic. This is anime. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sewer is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Hello to the long side. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> As you should. I, I dejectedly follow Sayori across Good. the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visited. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> Sup, fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitches? Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me new member. Eh. I glance around the room. Oh. 
<laughs> I wish. It is. Jackie, 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 it's you. Go. <laughs> Go. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says the nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? This is perfect. Way to kill the atmosphere. I'll, I'll fucking- I'll do Monica. Be Monica Steel. Be Monica Steel. <laughs> I know, I- uh, I fucking can't do, do girl voice. voices. Do a voice. No, do it. someone else do it. Fuck, I already- right, Do you want me to do that? I don't know. What? You do it for now. Because I already voiced the bulk of shit. No, I could, I could be Monica. I could be Monica. You wanna be Monica? It's okay. I got, I got, I got the perfect voice. Oh, okay, go, go, go. <clears throat> ah, Steel! What a nice surprise! I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly <laughs> cute girls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is an anime. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you wanna say something, say it. Sorry. Well, Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Cupcakes. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns oh, back quietly, towards the mother. other girls. Whoa. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. She'll also fucking stab you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. <laughs> Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears to be completely more mature and timid in every way, seems to have a hard time <laughs> whoa, keeping whoa, up whoa. with people like Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> whoa, there, buddy. Say, Yuri, are we about to kiss right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yuri! <laughs> Yuri, come here. What, what kind Yuri. of club did I fucking join? <laughs> I'm ah. incredibly well, confused. <laughs> ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I didn't say anything towards her, but I guess... That's <laughs> right! Stop looking at me, motherfucker. No. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Steel. Fuck off. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked. We were in the same class last year. I stalked her. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, weirdly into anime. Oh, that means more world to you. Apparently, she runs some pretty net. Apparently, she runs a drug cartel. No! No! Drug cartel. Basically, completely out of my league. Yeah. The internet mafia. So having her smile at least so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Steel. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. S sorry. Oh, I got a little bit too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> the girls have a tea. few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's widened so there can be one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. What Natsuki hell? proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Oh, oh. Duh. Okay. Duh. Are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray. They reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers They're poisoned. Are drawn... <laughs> <laughs> you fool. <laughs> the, whiskers... <laughs> the whiskers are drawn up. I sing a little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Well, you know, eat it! <laughs> eat it now! Sayori <laughs> grabs one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full as she has already managed oh. to get icing <laughs> on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. <gasps> The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, this this wasn't there in the original game. Oh. This was not. Oh. <laughs> what? Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sorry, you said. Well, maybe. But not for y you know you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on that Suki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <laughs> 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 you really said fuck this. <laughs> Yuri turns to the table carrying a tea set. Is this the tea sis? Oh my god. She like carefully this. Places... The motherfucking <laughs> oh, I hate you. She carefully <laughs> places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a, a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Okay. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? A hot no. cup of tea scarred my face. I'm Todoroki. <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's oh add another God. one. Uh, I, I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Th that's not... Insulted? <laughs> Yuri looks like... She got <laughs> She's insulted by that fucking thing! Get wrecked. Jesus. <laughs> I meant that, you know. I believe, I believe you. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. that's not my line. I believe you, Steve. I believe you, Steve. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief because she's not. Good tea. Mm. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. It's like fucking really wow. <laughs> so, what made you consider the literature club? Being held at gunpoint by Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck over here, Steel! <laughs> oh my god! I hate this. Um, I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Sayori's in the background. Me, <laughs> yeah, somebody tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. <laughs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest... I can't stand all of the politics around ma the major clubs. <laughs> it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Thank you, I want that too. <laughs> and if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. This is just calling out streamers, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Monica's a really great leader. Looks like she's putting her hand on Monica's, like, fucking ball. Hold hands! Yeah! <laughs> hands right now? Yuri also <laughs> nods in agreement. Oh. <laughs> now, surprise her. There aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like, literature. Stop calling me out! <laughs> <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Oh my so, god. So yeah, like a Minecraft streamer. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna leave. Out. I don't wanna do this anymore. We're I don't wanna do this anymore. No, I retire. Oh, no, Smith. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Damn, okay, I'm gonna go cry. Read more. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can Oh, oh. sorry I Jackie? What the yeah. hell? My mic. Where did I cut out? Uh, uh, let's reread the line. Okay. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different what? girls all addressed into the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm for the literature. So, Steel, what kind of things do you like to read? 
Have Maybe you ever read Garfield? the fucking Garfield comics? What? Oh my god. No! The man of culture! <laughs> do, do we need a fourth, uh, voice? I am here. What the fuck? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Just say manga, you weeb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> manga. I muttered to myself go. half joking. Natsuki's head slowly puts up like, <gasps> this is like, oh, manga! <laughs> Over like her ball. head, her <laughs> head, her head just turns 180 degrees. <gasps> manga. She snaps her neck. Did somebody say manga? I thought her neck would snap at least like 90 degrees or something. Ah, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh, fuck off. Okay. <laughs> well, that can change. Oh. What am I saying? I swear I'm not thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? <laughs> oh, you know, just romance, murders, you know. Let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup of her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Hey, Josh, where are you at? <laughs> oh, oh my God. So true. <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign, in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Mm-hmm. Here it goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so. Have you heard of the story painter? Omega S P. Omega S P is my favorite. She seems, <laughs> she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. <laughs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological horror, I mean, psychological <laughs> elements, usually immerse me as well. By MLP, just to say this now, I have I have seen the original Doki Doki Hold game. On, I'll be back. I've, okay, I've seen the original Doki Doki game, but I have not seen anything about Plus. Like, I'm going in completely blind about Plus, and it's very clear that some stuff has actually changed up already. <coughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Jackie? Jackie's dead. Uh-oh. While Jackie's dead, I'm gonna go check something real quick. Smib. Yeah. Michael. Entertain yeah. the stream. Oh, 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 oh. oh Jackie's oh, back. back. <laughs> Jackie's back. Hello. Fuck. Okay. I forgot to tell my mom that I was helping with the stream. Okay. Continue on, then. <clears throat> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh -oh. Ah, I read a horror book once. I jumped out a window. I <laughs> desperately grasped something so I can really do the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often a very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. <laughs> That's right, you usually like to write about <laughs> cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, oh, all's you around. have to call me up like this, Monica! Monica just <laughs> Coke. What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Uh -huh. I had a picture of a cat. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Sorry, oh. slides up behind that oh. and puts her hands on her shoulders. <clears throat> I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own bones? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? <clears throat> no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Huh. Not a very confident writer yet. <laughs> I understand how I see confident when I poison you all. <laughs> 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 
Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit cool. in silence for a moment. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs> say Yuri. <laughs> Nat uh, and Yuri. Uh, Natsuki and Yuri look. What the fuck? Quizzically. Quizzically, Quizzically at Monica. What kind of fucking word is quizzically? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. How about no? <laughs> How about I snap your neck? <laughs> <laughs> that way, everyone is even. Uh, um... I don't want to go home. Natsuki <laughs> 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 doesn't want to go home. Oh no! Oh look, guys, look in the closet. Oh, who's in the closet? Oh. Hey kids, it's fucking me, Bob. <laughs> Not hey, like Bob. It's Bob. You buy, you can escape me, motherfuckers. <laughs> Who the fuck is this clown? <laughs> oh, don't mind him. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Steel? Fuck you, I'm going to the anime club. I'm on you, Kobe. <laughs> Monica <laughs> smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? You better not say that you're not going to join us. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth for what's been on my mind the entire time. Yuri, you got huge boobs. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I never said I would join this club. So Yuri what the hell? may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made the decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, it was my train of thought. They all judge. Why does Yuri's mouth look like a little? What did you oh. say? Look at, look at Yuri's mouth. Look at Yuri's mouth. It looks like it's a dog. Don't make me get the glog steel. <laughs> I'm getting my knife. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. <laughs> but... but... Uh, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> it's just... Hmm. Steel? You all... I'm defenseless against these girls! <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll, I'll, I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girls' eyes light up. You're although Natsuki and you're just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, Bloggers. no, <laughs> Bloggers. yes, I'm so happy. Sue so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Can't fucking breathe. <laughs> Fuck <Good. Bog> jam. <laughs> Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. What the fuck? Oh, you can actually uh, uh, get rid of the text box! Oh! oh. I was wow. say, what happened? <laughs> I was Same. like, well, I thought that was part of the really game. If you just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> then that makes it official! Because <laughs> fingers on Mitsuki! Ah! No. Whips Natsuki with her hair like oh. <laughs> oh, she's she's like, 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 oh, okay. Ignore the small lolly. <laughs> Ignore the small uh, one. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks on over total once more. Drama. Steel, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. I like boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mo <laughs> Booba. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No! <laughs> Answer is no. <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the cool. girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. 
Hey, Steel, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Steel proceeds to jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, oh bitch! That's right, Sayori and I never- <laughs> See how my character attempts to jump out the window, fucking Sayori grabs him by the legs. GET BACK HERE! <laughs> YOU WEREN'T GOING ANYWHERE! Here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the god I see some art from this street. Get the really fuck back! <laughs> we already it. know there's gonna be at least something with me here. Yeah, Sarah oh and I god. never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> Whoa, you're coming with me. With that, the two, <laughs> with that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way? My mind was wandering back and forth between the four girls, Sayori, Natsuki, Brad, Big <laughs> Brad. Brad. <laughs> Yuri, Brad. and of course, <clears throat> Monica. <laughs> Monica Brad. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Not Monica, cause fuck Monica. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. It. <laughs> I'm so sure... <laughs> and I'm sure that starting that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs> the MC oh, Sands. A poem. It's, Sands. it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen. Whoever likes your poem the most. Who are you going for, Steel? Who are you going for, Steel? Go. Let's go with Sayori. Let's so, go! Why? Sayori. <laughs> These nuts. Would it be Sunny? I think Sunny would. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Warm, charm, eternity, adventure, sing. Which Happiness? One? Happiness. Yeah. Um, um, shame. 420. Huh? <laughs> Marriage. Shame. Marriage. Um, uh, Bunny? Oh yeah, she. Uh, Actually, wait, no. Wouldn't that be Yuri? That's like cute. That's cute. That's like not Suki. Wonderful. Maybe. Color? Strawberry? What, what no. Do you think wonderful? Wonderful. Try that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Clumsy. Clum <laughs> <laughs> uh. You think silly? Silly is silly. Like, not Suki. Uh. Tears. tears? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh shit, I'm, re I'm relating to Sayori, oh no! Oh no, oh, no. Smibble! Oh, look at his own! That one's Yeah, that's one Smile? A smile? I wear a mask. Would you think smile? <laughs> Fuck off. Not like this. I wear no. a mask with a smile! You think, you think, uh, you think Sayori's would be smile, though? Maybe, Maybe, yeah. Possibly. I think so. Yeah! yeah. Childhood! Childhood. Yeah. Childhood. Childhood. But... Empty. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Say oh. emptiness in the most positive way yeah. you can, Smith. I don't think. Wait, say what? Empty. Empty. I'm really sure no, I saw it's, that it's on the list. Positive. I think that was on Yuri's, was it not? I think so. Massacre was on Yuri's. Mass Should we go with death then? Try uh... it. Oh! Yeah. oh God. Okay. Oh. Massacre. <clears throat> uh, Depression. 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 Oh God. Hang. <laughs> um. Alone. Oh, Molly. Alone. Alone. Yeah. What about melancholy? Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> Rain clouds. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Say you're really be going through some Bad. shit. Bay. Bad. Say you're going through some shit. Oh God. Oh. Sadness. Oh. Would it be sadness? I'm relatively sure. Baby. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> um, herming. Um, pout. Pout? What did he? Yep. Yeah. I said that'd be not so Damn good. it! <gasps> Shit. Aw. Uh. It's okay. You don't need like all of them. I know, but there's just there the majority. There are achievements. Uh, yeah. Girl, you achievement grabber. Hopeless. Loud. <clears throat> Inferno? No, Tra no, no. Tragedy. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Memories. We we got all of them but one for a but one. Mm. Sayori be going bad. through some shit. <clears throat> Sayori. <laughs> Hi again, Steel. Okay, before we continue, I'll be back in one sec. Mm. Oh, all right. Man's getting water. Have you heard of Twitch Prime? 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Steel's back. Steel's back. back. Steel, Steel, I made somebody subscribe with Prime. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was just talking about poisoning people's food. Yeah, we totally didn't threaten people. <laughs> no, no, I didn't call the Glock. What do you Dragon mean? Dragon is no, the I... first person who has subscribed to me, so thank you, Dragon. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! I have no money. I have no money. <laughs> have no money. Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hold on, I was coughing. Oh, no, Glad go. to see you didn't run away from- <laughs> run away on us. <laughs> I literally went to get some hair. You know where you live. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> This might be a little strange for me, but I always keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody already <laughs> else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Steel. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack. <clears throat> Sorry <laughs> told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out, or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. I'll poison Ooh. your food. I'll do it. <laughs> Suki, <laughs> you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room! God damn! Damn! damn. damn. Mm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly <laughs> defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Seal always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Siori, why the fuck are you giving them false expectations? <laughs> <laughs> he helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire. What? <laughs> hey, yo. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh. oh. <laughs> How come? You and still can become good friends, too. Uh, um. Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems to believe this is the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! You're even brought you some of the day, you know. Sayori! <laughs> <laughs> Sayori! And? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It, it's really nothing. What is it? <clears throat> Never mind. Um, Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it really is not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess it means up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gestures from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make <clears> me <throat> happy no matter what. Is that so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Just goes on. Joke. I wouldn't make a big. I wouldn't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. <clears throat> uh, all right. Well, here. Gear reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you may enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know. Discuss it if you wanted. <laughs> this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I'll kill Uba. you. <laughs> she <laughs> she <laughs> picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. It's Mary, the boobs. Thank you. I'll definitely <laughs> not like it. this. I enthusiastically <laughs> take the book. I'll enthusiastically take your limbs. <laughs> 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 Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward <laughs> to hearing what you think. No, everyone is not leave me waiting. I have a knife. I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, <clears throat> but that doesn't seem to be the case. So you and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the Yeah. Room. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she is waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is roaming around in the closet like the fucking gremlin. 
<laughs> Are you not Man. a gremlin? It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest deck. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something <clears throat> literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read the book, some of the book Yuri gave me. I feel a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Close my eyes and I'm listening to Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. I see. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is, the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. <laughs> but it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. We could try be we could try being streamers on Twitch. No, <laughs> not <laughs> like this. Wait, I have an idea. Minecraft, Monica. Wait, they are. You just gave me a great idea. <laughs> we could have a hot dog stream. No. Oh <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem, though. <laughs> I'm not thick uh, enough. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? A hot dog stream will solve our problems. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> I love all of it. Even if we come up with the most fun hot tub stream ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature. I hate this. Stop. I love all of it. <laughs> so it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing. What the fuck? We can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? 34. Big Yuri Booba! Ta Big Booba! <laughs> Make Yuri flash! <laughs> Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her debating like this. Th that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Did I hear someone say food? <laughs> Shut up, you don't get it! <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Haha, <laughs> good thinking! You got me off your bed over here, Natsuki! So <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki would love to do that. Uh, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> and cupcakes it is then. Nobody clipped that, I swear to god. I'm <laughs> Someone clipped that. <laughs> it. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I oh, find god. myself smiling. In the end, Siori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Siori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Uh oh. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> you wanna see my eyes, Steel? <laughs> ah! Oh, my eyes find Siori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember that from the original game. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I can't. Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all, bitch! <laughs> it's your fault for sleeping like that! <laughs> this isn't the napping club! Does that school even have a napping club? You're staying up late again. <laughs> That's you. Oh. I see the S. <laughs> I saw the S. You stole my line! <laughs> you're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? <laughs> You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. That's when I told to see Monica over here. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's sad. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> what depression. about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Oh. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. Um, How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret! Bruh. I knew it. Oh no, Come not on. Sayori! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Oh. 
Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Huh? Sayori glances around at her side. Oh, <laughs> fuck, I've been dead! <laughs> How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around there. Uh. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten nope. it out. And you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. You're really just putting your slime in her hair, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that makes for good. That makes for good hair gel. That is true. That is true. There's, there's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. There's two pieces on your collar right there. Try to see my fingers. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would! Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. <laughs> you fucker! Hey, you know <laughs> me! <laughs> and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Blazer buttoned up. <laughs> Seriously, Sayori. <clears throat> why do you think... Why do you think Damn, you're not whoa, boyfriend whoa. yet? Um, okay! That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> I start to button your blazer. <laughs> From the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right. oh my god. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Well, don't say that! You make me feel weird about it, stupid! It's okay though! It's I'm happy mm -hmm. we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Damn, I'm so dumb, you dummy so thing. Close. <laughs> I struggle to. Fl oh <laughs> my, oh my god. Chest. Hey, Peyton, does more this, streaming. Does this thing even fit me properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it. You would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? I'm finally getting bigger, Booba. <laughs> Read the I line. can't do this. I can't Read do the this. Line. You got it perfectly. That <laughs> was the line. That was my line. Just read the fucking line. <laughs> It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much you look much better now. So, uh, why does it feel strange to see Sari's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's more like a pout. I feel like that was more of like a pout noise. Like I Ooh. know, I know. I just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> It's just ooh. <laughs> ooh. ooh. It's not worth it at all. Sorry. <laughs> he simply unbuttons the blazer once more. God. I because they don't want to redraw the sprite. Phew. <laughs> That's so much better. Sorry puts her arms out and twirls around. So if they keep keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? <laughs> Why are you saying that's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do stuff like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things! Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. You fucking airhead! <laughs> She's so... Jeez. My own head candidate is Sayori. <laughs> Sayori is this fucking mastermind. Who knows? <laughs> Sayori's you know, she, the mastermind. No, like she oh, knows. Like, like, this. like, no, she knows what she's saying and how embarrassing it is. But she acts like she has no idea. <laughs> just to oh fucking God. mess with the main character. Oh boy. Well, anyway, just she's focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. I'm fine. It, it's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we, than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Oh. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. 
Holy shit! Jacob! The way she fucking glided onto the screen! Jackson! Holy <laughs> shit! The way she glided onto the screen! Did you just have a pain? Eh? Monica subtly calls out. Uh, y'all fuck it? I mean, <laughs> why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Steel, I can't wait to read yours! Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did, did you even remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My, my relaxation ends. I can't Very. believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well now, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? You know, like me, not Sayori. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition, like composition, composition. composition, composition. notebook. I can already see Monica's pr pristine handwriting Christine. from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri were reluctantly <clears throat> by as well, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. Who should I show my- Monica! Sorry. Aw, goddammit! It's definitely it. most comfortable <laughs> saying this if you want me to. It's like, Fuck Mon Monica. Monica's just like holding your hands behind your back. It's like, Monica, I'm gonna go Sayori. Fucking goddammit! It's <laughs> <laughs> definitely most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. <laughs> good friend. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Steel. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori? You must be seriously overacting. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> true. <laughs> Jeez. I'm Yo, sure I'm Yuri's opinion to has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe in Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? What the hell? So when I read your poem, <laughs> it's not just a poem. It's a steel poem! And that makes it extra special. That's it, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can feel your feelings in it. Why is Siori so fucking wholesome? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, Siori. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> yep. er, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Steel. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. <laughs> it's just glaring from the background. Thanks, <laughs> Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. <laughs> oh, I how much this meant to her and all. Here's her save file. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. Don't we all? Sayori. Come, there's McChickens in my fridge. Sayori, I want this, to is one. Just, this is just the guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least
least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. <laughs> Don't be mean! I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. How should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! <laughs> 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 Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Fair. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Where the of fuck course I am. From? Uh, it, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. What? Guess I'll look forward to it. <laughs> Sib, you're so fucking good with your fucking <laughs> message. <laughs> like, so you're, what I do? You, no, you're not. good. You're good at the voice you're doing, my lord. Yeah, let's go. Hey, everyone's everyone. everyone's doing great. We're doing. We're gonna go down the list. Ready, Michael? Huh? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. I can go get my big That's chicken. A little can I? Yeah, you can. Well, excuse oh, me. Gary. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Yes. I'll pass. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <clears throat> I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? <laughs> Just be honest! I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! It's like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. What the fuck? Stop calling me out! Uh-huh. Ha! Uh-huh. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess... More went into it than I realized. That's what I that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Aren't you all 18? <laughs> 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 it said all the characters were 18 and up, so like how old is fucking Monica in her 20s? <laughs> yeah. 30 year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if that's if he's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Well, oh fuck, Jackie! I've returned. You got no. back just in time. I got Yuri. back just as soon as it happened. <clears throat> hmm. Big chicken bussin. <laughs> Yuri dumb. stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry, um, I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not! I just need to put my thoughts into words. No, hold on. This, this chicken, huh? Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? <clears throat> I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! 
did I just ra raise my voice? Um, I am so sorry. Yuri buries her face into her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to the new people. It's it's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can like be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Bias? How? Uh, um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to you yourself, to me, or to Natsuki. Better be apologizing I... to me. No. Do you mind <laughs> no. if I read your poem now? Uh, please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. <laughs> After all, this isn't supposed to isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The I can't read this text! Fuck! Why is it cursing? The tendrils of my hair illuminated beneath yours. the amber glow, bathing. It must be like this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. W what? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Fuck off. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more... mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Steel. You see, it's called imagery really? and, uh... Symbolism. I must. I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> Fuck your line. <laughs> what these? <laughs> Anyways, well, I suppose he did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon, to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. <laughs> I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. I just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I love how I'm reading this with a big chicken in hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is iconic. Let's with go. With the Mr. Chicken, chicken bussin'. Chicken. Yeah, this big chicken bussin'. <clears throat> I'm counting on you. And now we just have Monica. Oh, just, well, Monica. Just, Monica. just Monica. Just Monica. Well, I'm chewing. 
<laughs> Gordon, Monica no. comes up. There's just a dramatic bout of thunder in the background. <laughs> oh, hi, Steel. Clutching a McChicken. <laughs> <laughs> having a good time so far? Sorry, I've got a McChicken, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I've been having a good time. Guess, good! So. Glad to hear it. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, <laughs> I'm always listening. <laughs> and that's a promise. Oh. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Oh, right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring these up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? No. <laughs> Fuck you, too. It's, it's kind of <laughs> embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> Don't worry, Steel. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hands Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. This is shit! I kinda <laughs> like this one! It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> is, is... is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? That's right, bitch. I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. I wrote down depression! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Stay depressed, bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there's also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds <clears throat> like the only, like, two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So, I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. She put hmm. a deep shit. <laughs> you sure you're not reading into it so much? <laughs> I could be. Please choose me. Oh gosh, you sound like Yuri! <laughs> but in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness, you know? <laughs> Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up just trying different things a lot. It could take a lot before I feel comfortable doing this. <laughs> That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. So stop choosing the words that say you're like, anyways, it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything, you know? You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> anyways, do you want to read my poem now? You don't have a choice. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always get to feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction this buckle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film, looked out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched of a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized now I wasn't looking in, and I was looking out. And he was on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Monica, I'm having an existential crisis. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very free for See how I feel. <laughs> That's what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, 
It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting on emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure I know how to put it, you see. I can break the fourth wall! Um, <laughs> I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyways! Here's Monica's writing tip of the day! Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain goes... gets a little too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I'm not listening to this podcast anymore. <laughs> what the hell? Whew. I guess that was everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Oh god, if my fucking palms. then. <laughs> you know, if I could sled, I would, but I miss a fucking slime, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> slime. I am melting a bit, though that's not fun. <laughs> it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities and not the fact that I'm a slime. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Even... racist here, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. It, this is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sigori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Miri and Asuka. Sigori, this mon- this- They mm. surely exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Atsuki's eyebrow furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. Okay, and? How can that be <laughs> cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <sighs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone oh, who actually no. liked it. Oh god. Which people did, by the way. Siori liked it. And Steel did too. Please don't so based rope on me that, this. I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my own writing style. And I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ex and Steel liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member. <laughs> <laughs> That's not- Oh no. Uh, Why are you roping me into this? You- you were just- Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Steel appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours! What the fuck? Oh. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice? What the fuck? Are you that full of yourself? Help! I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. What the fuck? Uh, um... Uh. Is everyone okay? 
Sorry. Well, you what know are you what? <laughs> I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew <gasps> size bigger as soon as steel started showing up. Oh. <gasps> what the fuck? Um, Suki, that's a little. Uh... This doesn't involve you. This doesn't you. involve you. <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys. Thought I'd bump girls. Turns out worse because I know so. Steel. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, uh, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Uh, What's the point in making your poems man. all convoluted for no reason? Main character. <laughs> oh my god. Because the meaning with. should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Uh, Help me explain that to her, Steel! Oh. What the fuck? Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Uh. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You uh. understand that, right, Steel? Uh, the, the fucking, um, uh... Well? Well? The, the, the... Oh. I'm making dragon this in the first place! So I don't know anything about writing! Huh? Well, whoever I create will probably think more highly of me, so of course it's gonna be- FUCKING HELP ME, SAYORI! <laughs> Atsuki? Uh... Yuri? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. SAYORI! Eh? Also, hello, Wes. Hey, <laughs> hi, Wes. Hello. Welcome to yeah. the stream. Everyone fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable! How can you do if you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Steel? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Sayori can cope. Uh, I agree. Cope, Sayori, cope! I'll get Simply the clock! Cope. <laughs> it's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. <laughs> oh it's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? Meanwhile, slime steals is slowly fucking melting. Slowly <laughs> Monica <laughs> steals melting onto the floor again. <laughs> what? Damn Get it. the mop. I can this is exactly why. Together. Oh my God. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop. God, damn. Thank you! Hey. Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends! I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy! My friends are wonderful people! That's great! And I love them because of their differences! Natsuki's poems... They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words! And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head! Everyone's so talented! So why are we fighting? B because... Well... Oh, thank god, this is why Sayori, you're best. <laughs> Christ. Also... Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that! And your boobs are the same as they always were! <laughs> <laughs> I did not need to know this information! Big and beautiful! I did not need to know this information! <laughs> what are you trying to say? I did not need to know this information. She's got tits. That's what she's trying to say. Sayori, what the fuck? You're kind of thick, Yuri. Sayori stands <laughs> for a <laughs> Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Bro, I'm just trying to eat a big chicken. <laughs> I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits yes, down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president, huh? <laughs> I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. Uh-huh. To be honest... I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. <laughs> but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. Oh. As president, that's tip? kind of embarrassing me. It is. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that again. 
He might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. Ah, oh, I see. I see y'all. Take care. Get, take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> Death. That makes <laughs> Thank you, Josie. <laughs> Thank you, Josie. You can count on me. Maka smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a <laughs> genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk with her a little more. Nah. No. Okay, everyone! <laughs> it's just about time for us to leave! How did you all feel about sharing poems? I had a panic attack and melted two times Cope. today. What did you think? <laughs> Cope. Uh, it was normal. a lot of fun! No, it wasn't. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was not. It was um... It was alright. Well, mostly. It was not at all. <laughs> it was <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So slime boy, what about you? Still fucking going. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'd say the same. Fuck the thing. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Uh-huh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Paul <laughs> Champ! <laughs> no. In that case, no. we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Fuck! <laughs> Hold on. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. I learned that I'm gonna jump out the window. It's not like I'll fucking die from it anyway. Man, you a flip, pussy. Uh, <laughs> so your poems will turn out even better. I know. I if I jump out the window, I won't die. Even if I tried, Sayori would fucking drag me by my legs. <laughs> I think to myself, I did learn a bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. I also learned how fucking terrifying they are. If I'm luck, that means I can at least do a better job at impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Oh, fuck. Deal! Popped in to say Jackie's cool. Alright, bye. I'm streaming! <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's streaming! I, 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 You're I, cool, I, Jackie. Alright, bye. Hi, Joseph, you're minorly cool, too. I... Thank you. I'm streaming! What? <laughs> All right. This is why we can't have nice things. Snip, go crying. on. Ready to walk home? I'm jumping out the window again. No! <laughs> right out there. Here, let's go. Give me your ankles. <laughs> 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 it's so creepy. It truly has been well since you and I've spent this much time together. I really I like can't to... say I'm not enjoying it either. I'm the <laughs> Canonical voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> the canonical voice in my head is just. And I'm just here. Sayori, yeah, you're just here. <laughs> Sayori, about what We're like in the back really. of the classroom, just <laughs> yeah. eating a sandwich. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. These fucking uh, people. <laughs> about, uh, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki. Oh, no, I just finished my McChicken. No, no, no. <laughs> That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, well... you don't hate them, do you? I do. I mean, <clears throat> I no, no <laughs> I, I don't hate them. I don't. <laughs> I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see they 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 make good friends with you. Yes. Phew. You know, Steel. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. No, no fucking shit. that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Damn. <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Harold! Oh, no! <laughs> Well, yes, does. well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use a Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do this! <laughs>